In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install rake tiles for your concrete S-shaped tile roof. Rakes, similar to a lot of the other features in tile roofs, have a lot to do with aesthetics and there's not one right way to do it. You have a little bit of room for design and depending on the layout of your tile, you're gonna pick a shorter reveal or a longer reveal or you're gonna also uh, possibly shift the rake tiles further down on the rake or further on the roof. Again, that's gonna depend on a few factors. Number one is how the tile finishes off. One thing you wanna be sure of whenever possible, have both sides of the rake be symmetric so they end at the same location. The other thing you wanna make sure you do is curve and bend your bird stop up. You can see this is our metal bird stop, our eave riser that we've cut and bent. What this is gonna do is gonna prevent birds from getting in here because we're gonna have a little gap here and that birds can nest in. So if you wanna prevent that, go ahead and bend your eave risers in. Now we have our first rake tile pre-cut. It's cut down to this length. So I've measured from the eave to where our tile overlaps and cut that down accordingly. That's gonna make it a nice clean uh, first row. Then we're gonna continue going up. And I'm also gonna look from this side to kind of see what appearance I wanna achieve. The other thing that's gonna make a determination on this is the size of your rakes. If you have smaller or larger rakes, you might wanna show more or less of your rake. Now the length of your nails is important as well here. If you use too long of a nail, it's gonna puncture through your rake board here and look ugly on the inside. So these nails that we're using are three inches long. They're gonna penetrate just far enough to get a nice good grab on our rake board, not too far as not to penetrate it from the other side. However, that's also gonna change depending on the angle of the tile. You have to use different size nails, so just keep that in mind. Now we're ready to go to the next roll up. What I want to explain here is the proper spacing. Ideally, I would like to do it in such a way where each rake tile has an even reveal. So we're going to end up with three rake tiles here. The first one that we already installed, the middle one, then the last piece that we're going to cut. So what I want to do is, there's a few ways to go about this, is I can measure from the end all the way to the ridge. Now I've got approximately 33 inches. If we divide that into three even measurements, that's gonna leave us with 11. So I'll mark out 11 here. There we go. As far as your nail length, keep in mind that the nail here at the front side might be a different length than the nail here on the back because of the fact that it's raised up. So just be very conscious of that. The last thing you want to do is finish installing your rakes and see that you've penetrated through on the other side. See, for example, that nail was too short. I only got a quarter of an inch of a grab. For this demonstration, it's totally fine, but on a real world application, you would want to change that nail and make it so that you get good bite to keep your rakes into place. Now, the last thing we would have to do is cut this last rake tile. Before I do that, what I want to do is do the same thing on this other side come up all the way to the end so that we can cut both rake tiles for them to match and have a perfect fit, snug fit at the top. All right, now that we've got tiles installed on both sides, we're ready to install our last two pieces. This is the area that's gonna take a little bit more time. Number one thing I wanna do is make sure that I have my tile properly laid out. So again, I have an 11 inch reveal. What I generally like to do, especially on these curved tiles, is eyeball it to where I want it to be, cut this first tile, then use this as a guide to cut my second tile. And you're gonna need to finesse it a little bit. You might have to shave one down a little bit, cut it down a little bit more to have a nice snug fit. Because of the fact that it's rounded, it's hard to get it on the first shot. So I like to eyeball it, cut it, then adjust as needed. All right, so we have both our tiles cut. Let's see how we did. Like I mentioned, we might need to shave off a bit. Um, not too bad. What I would say is I would like to shave off this top a little bit to get a nice closer joint right here. And generally what I like to focus on is this front side right here. 
The top we're gonna cover with some mortar. So if we're gonna have a gap somewhere, and generally you're, you're gonna have to, uh, it's pretty hard to get a perfect cut on these tiles. I like to focus on getting a nice tight joint on the front side, and on top we'll cover it up with mortar. So let's see how we did this time. Yeah, there we go, we have a joint where I can consider it nice and tight. And we'll fill the rest of this up with caulking and maybe some mortar on the top side. One thing that can be done, it's totally up to you. Uh, if possible, I like to apply some clear adhesive at this joint right here. So there you have it, we've got our joint, we've got our rake installed. The next step is going to be while we're installing the ridge, and I'll show you that in another video. Watch our video on how to install hip and ridge, on how to mortar this top right here, and join that with our ridge. It's technically more of a ridge process than a rake, so I'll show you that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, we have a lot of videos on our channel related to all types of roofing. And if I missed anything in this video or if you have any comments on how you like to do it, let me know in the comments below.